We've covered the cab, we've covered the chassis, we've covered the added warranties and things of that nature, we've even covered the interior. Now we get to cover what's under the hood. You know what I mean. Hey everyone, I'm Josh with Premier Truck Sales and Rental. Thanks for tuning back in this week. This week, we are talking about the power plant in this Mac LR series truck. Now, that being said, with this being a cab over, you'd think it's more difficult to get to, especially with that cab protector. Definitely not the case. The cab protector in this is actually air operated. There's a switch right back there. You flip that switch, that's gonna move up and out of your way. Once that's up and out of the way for you, it's pretty simple. Move the lever over to the raise position on the jack, start going at it. Now we've got access to the engine. Simple enough. Once we get the cab tilted up, we find the American made 10.8 liter Mac MP7 engine in this. This one has 355 horsepower and is available with 1,250 or 1,550 foot-pounds of torque. This engine is direct injected. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, the two main things that that does for you is first off, it helps quiet things down by giving better control of that combustion cycle through the injection. On top of that, it's increased fuel mileage, which that's something we're always looking for is that efficiency when we're out on the road. Speaking of efficiency, this runs the Mac two speed water pump, which I know sounds strange, but the principle behind this is quite amazing. In most cases, we're pushing against a thermostat. We're still trying to pump a ton of water, even when the engine's cool and doesn't need all that water moving around. With this, it decides whether it needs the low speed or the high speed. If you don't need that much cooling, you're gonna be running the cooling pump at a lower speed. Therefore, it's gonna be much more efficient. Those types of things add up to more than a two or 3% difference in terms of your fuel costs out on the road. One of the great things about the design of this truck too is the fact that Mac has designed this with similar to other trucks, everything is on one side of the truck that you need to look at in order to service. On top of that, there's no need to lift the cab to do things like check the oil, coolant, power steering, any items like that. All the dipsticks, all the reservoirs are right over here, right where you can see them from the ground. Easy access, once again, making sure that you're able to stay up on maintenance and pre-trip inspection item. The Mac MP7 is a great proven engine, especially in applications like this. We know the abuse that this engine's gonna see, and it's shown time and time again that it's built to stand up to that. Add in some of those efficiency gains, and well, you can see why this is the truck to beat. Next week, we are talking about how we get all this power transferred, be it to the back wheels or to the body. We're talking transmission. So, like I said, make sure you're subscribed. If you like this, give us the thumbs up if you're willing, it really helps us out. If you've got a comment or a question, please put that in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. I will see you guys next week. Stay safe out there.